from a weird amphibious vehicle built by the Soviets to a creepy spaceship left behind by the Japanese, and even an abandoned train car from the famous Orient Express. Here are 10 of the most incredible abandoned vehicles ever found. Number 10. Soviet Amphibious Vehicle A super bizarre amphibious vehicle was discovered just sitting abandoned in Chelyabinsk, Russia. The strange vehicle was apparently a project from the 1950s, built by engineers working at the local hydraulics factory. It almost looks like an iron tank or something out of a movie like Back to the Future, and allegedly, it can even float on water. The design of the thing is absolutely fascinating. The door to get into the strange vehicle is located where the passenger side of the windshield would normally be. It opens from the front, and you have to crawl into it. It doesn't have any other seats, just the one and a rickety old steering wheel to drive it with. The vehicle has eight tires, a full aluminum body, and eight hydraulic motors, one powering each wheel. It also has two propellers powered by hydraulic motors for aquatic travel. Unfortunately, not much else is known about the vehicle or why it was found seemingly forgotten outside of what looks like a garage in Russia. Whether it works or not is still a total mystery. Number nine, sunken airplane. At the bottom of Folsom Lake, California, an abandoned airplane has been found after 50 long years of total neglect. The small aircraft sits 160 feet below the surface of the water. It was discovered by a crew of curious researchers using underwater survey equipment, like a submersible camera. Based on pictures they managed to get from the bottom of the lake, the plane appears to still be completely intact. However, there is a bit of mystery surrounding why the plane was put on the bottom of the lake in the first place. Nobody knows exactly where the abandoned thing came from. As far as anyone knows, the plane likely crashed into the lake back in 1965, with all three of its crew members drowning along with it. However, the researchers were unable to determine if the bodies were still locked inside the cockpit. The families of the deceased individuals were contacted, and they all told the sheriff in charge that they would prefer the plane and the remains of their loved ones to stay in their final resting place. Number 8. Lost Cars a collection of rare cars worth over an estimated $1 million was recently discovered by a shocked urban explorer. Where were these limited edition cars found? In a random garage. The 37-year-old urban explorer from Winchester, London goes by the name Ben, and he apparently knew about the mysterious garage for several years prior to exploring it. The rest of the property has been boarded up with wooden planks and overgrown by Mother Nature. And so finally, after keeping his eye on it for a while, he decided to investigate. What he found inside the garage is nothing short of astonishing. He found a 1957 Beedmore taxi, a Bristol Bullet prototype, and a Bentley Continental Flying Spur. These cars are ancient and super pricey. They were expensive even back in the 50s. According to Ben, he had never expected to find millions of dollars worth of cars, although he should have expected to find something automotive. Considering the building was once owned by an independent British car manufacturer called Bristol Cars. During the COVID lockdown, the company went bankrupt and the facility was abandoned. Although judging by the state of some of these ancient vehicles, many of which are coated in decades worth of dust, they had been abandoned already for quite a long time. The newest car in the collection is the Bristol Bullet, a prototype meant to celebrate the 70th birthday of the company. But the car was never sold and this might be the only one ever manufactured. What an awesome discovery. What's the coolest thing you've ever found in a garage? Let us know in the comments section down below. And if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button if you haven't already. Number seven, mysterious shipwreck. The mysterious 500 year old shipwreck of the Esmeralda was discovered off the coast of Oman. The ship was once part of Vasco da Gama's fleet. Vasco was a Portuguese explorer from the 16th century. It was on his second voyage to India that the Esmeralda and the Sao Pedro became wrecked in a storm. Even though the ship was discovered way back in 1998 off the coast of Al Halania Island in the Arabian Sea, it wasn't until just recently that archaeologists excavated it and discovered some pretty fascinating artifacts that revealed its true identity. According to CNN, over 2,800 artifacts have now been discovered from the wreckage, with all clues pointing to this being the legendary Esmeralda. Some of the artifacts include rare Portuguese coins that were minted specifically for trading with India. And perhaps most telling of all is the bronze bell discovered, believed to be the oldest ship's bell ever lost and recovered. Number six, historic canoe. River guides in the Chattooga River 
traveling along the border of South Carolina and Georgia, came across an ancient abandoned vehicle that dates back at least 200 to 250 years. This isn't a machine of war. It's not an airplane or a submarine. It's one of the most primitive vehicles ever made by human hands, a canoe. The river guides saw the canoe sticking out from the riverbank. After digging it from the sand and dragging it onto the shore, they realized they had a piece of history in their hands. The canoe was likely crafted in the 1700s, though it's unclear whether the canoe was made by Native Americans or European settlers. It's also not clear where the canoe came from either, since it had probably been drifting aimlessly down the river for the last two centuries. It's about two feet wide and very narrow. The vessel is extremely primitive, nothing more than the trunk of a tree that was hollowed out probably with an iron ax, but still, it did the job. A lot of ancient canoes discovered in South Carolina were found in the low country, said James Spirik, the state's underwater archeologist. Up in the mountains on the rivers, they're a little rare, he said. It's interesting to find people were using canoes on some of these wild rivers. The canoe, found below Sandy Ford between two major rapids on the Oconee County side of the Chictuga, had some similarities to a 1740s era boat found in the river 17 years ago. These were the first vehicles in America that allowed the settlers to slowly move across the country, collecting furs and establishing settlements. Number five, Spaceship Ropeway. You'd think a place called the Spaceship Roadway would have something to do with the space or extraterrestrials, but the Spaceship Ropeway in Japan doesn't actually have anything to do with either. Instead, it's an aerial tramway station high up in a rural valley that overlooks the Serpentine River below. The ropeway was once part of an amusement park on the other side of the valley. The cable car station opened in the 1960s and ran for the next 40 years. But when the park closed in 2000 due to poor management, the ropeway closed as well. Now the gondolas are sitting abandoned and alone, looking like sad escape pods. The most famous abandoned gondola here is a car built in the 1980s with the name Silver written on it. The car is at the very top of the tramway, still suspended from chains and pulleys as if waiting to take customers down into the valley. But unfortunately, the sad little gondola will never ride again. One day, it might even detach from the tramway and go tumbling down the mountain. Number four, abandoned tanks. There is a field filled with abandoned tanks in Zugel, Germany. The tanks look fresh, as if ready for war, but they've apparently been sitting abandoned in the field for years. There's nothing else in the area except for a dark and spooky forest and a couple of farms. The armored vehicles stand in rows with six tanks to a line, and they're just sitting there with no signs warning against trespassing and no fence to keep out curious explorers. You can actually go and climb onto these tanks, though of course, they no longer function and you probably want to make sure you're up to date on any tetanus shots. Why are the tanks here in such a random place? Well, the field has been used as a shooting range since 1877. Soldiers learn how to shoot their guns here. Tank cannons were tested, and even Big Bertha was tested here. Hitler visited the site in 1936 to order its expansion, which required a small village to be demolished. This happened in 1942, with the creepy remains of the broken village still visible through the nearby forest. The reason the tanks haven't been moved is that even after roughly 150 years, the field is still used for military training. If you go during training, obviously, you won't be able to see the tanks, so be sure to plan your visit. Number three, helicopter graveyard. There's an abandoned Air Force base in Russia with a strange collection of abandoned military helicopters slowly rusting away. Urban explorer Sergei Root took photographs of some of these decaying helicopters and posted them online, giving people a unique look at the weaponry that the Soviet Union wielded back during the Cold War. Not only did Sergei find enough abandoned helicopters to form his own squadron, he also discovered hundreds upon hundreds of abandoned fighter aircrafts just lying in ruins. Within the graveyard of dead military vehicles, there's a forgotten military academy holding the remains of a Soviet Union fighter jet, along with discarded Soviet uniforms and other pieces of equipment. The whole place has been abandoned in the truest sense of the word, with all this machinery, which was once the pride of the Soviet Union, now simply left to rot. Number two, the Washington bus. There's a quirky abandoned bus near Palouse Falls in Washington that has become something of a local landmark. The vehicle was once a school bus, taking kids back and forth from school, but was abandoned at some point and left beside Route 260. After so much time on the side of the road, it became a beloved piece of the community. 
Artists tagged the bus up with colorful and tasteful graffiti, even writing the word Wonderland on the side. It looks pretty cool. There was recently a battle between the local residents and the Washington Department of Natural Resources to keep the bus on the side of the road where it belongs. According to Leanne Blankenship, the president of the local historical museum board, the bus hasn't moved in at least 30 years. The issue is that the bus is sitting on the department's land, so they are technically liable if something bad happens to a person visiting the bus. Unfortunately, the guys in charge decided to get rid of the school bus and throw it in the trash. A local landmark for 30 years would just be tossed in the garbage. What a bummer. One of the reasons the bus had been so interesting is that nobody knows who abandoned the bus in the first place, where it came from, or how it managed to stay there for so long without someone taking it. And number one, the Orient Express. The Orient Express is definitely the most famous named among trains. It was a glorious way to travel back in the early 1900s, when trains were all the rage. Even today, it's considered the most iconic train in history. But sadly, the Orient Express days of glory are over. There is even a train car that was once part of this legendary route, abandoned and rusted, sitting on the tracks in Belgium. The train car was left here by the National Railway Company in the country many years ago when they thought about building a railway museum. The museum was never built though, and the train was never moved. Within the train, there are still traces of luxury, like the plush interior of the carriages, the fine detail in the wood carvings, and the extra large seats for maximum comfort. But even though we all talk about the Orient Express as if it's gone, dead, and extinct, the train does still run from Paris to Istanbul. It never stopped. It just became significantly less popular. The original route for the Orient Express moved through much of Europe, from Paris to Munich, then from Vienna to Budapest, Budapest to Bucharest, and the final stop in Istanbul. It went from the west coast of Europe to where Europe meets Asia. The lonely car abandoned in Belgium is just one of the many no longer in service. The posh carriages of old have been replaced with modern, less extravagant ones. Would you like to ride the Orient Express? Which abandoned vehicle is your favorite? Let us know in the comments, and thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and come back again soon for another awesome video. See you next time.